SIBO stands for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. This is when there are too many bugs in the gut. Those bugs often ferment the contents within the gut and produce a number of gastrointestinal symptoms. The symptoms of SIBO can be different in many people, but often they consist of wind, either upper or lower, abdominal discomfort, bloating, and also often an irregular bowel habit. And whilst most people will move to more frequent stools, the opposite can be true in some people. The causes of SIBO fall into two categories. The first relate to surgical procedures that people have had on their bowels in the past, and these can cause a different environment that allows the bugs within the gut to multiply. The most obvious cause for this is when people have had surgery for a stomach ulcer in the past, and this um, causes what is called a blind loop. And this blind loop is the ideal environment for the bacteria to multiply. The second big group of causes, and this is probably the most common, is a dysmotile gut. This means that the bowel doesn't move in a worm-like uh, mechanism as, as normal. And if the bowel is slow, then this again can cause an environment for too many bugs to multiply. SIBO is generally and most commonly tested for by breath tests. The person having the test would take a small drink of either glucose or lactose uh, and then either hydrogen or methane is detected in the breath using a small analyzer. This is done by breathing into a small machine every 15 minutes, usually for about two hours. This gives a good indicator um, as to whether there are too many bugs within the gut. IBD is a completely different diagnosis, is treated in a different way, and there are usually obvious differences between SIBO and IBD. The symptoms of SIBO and IBS, however, and IBS is irritable bowel syndrome, as opposed to IBD, which is inflammatory bowel disease, can have very similar symptoms and often SIBO can be an underlying driving core cause for people's IBS. It is therefore often very useful to test for SIBO in people with troublesome IBS symptoms as if the SIBO is present, treatment of the SIBO can lead to a, a marked improvement in some people with irritable bowel syndrome. So the best recognized treatment for SIBO is antibiotics. And there are a number of different antibiotics and different treatment regimes that exist. But the most common uh, treatment would be a two week course of an antibiotic called rifaximin. Rifaximin is good because it's not absorbed from the gut and therefore side effects related to rifaximin are relatively uncommon. If this is effective and treats the SIBO properly, then we would hope that the symptoms would resolve. This would mean that there would be less wind, less bloating, and again, we would hope that the bowel, your bowel habit would return towards normal. In some people, the treatment of SIBO can really result in a significant uh, improvement in your symptoms.